Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking rates and those 10-year note yields a little higher today off the lows, but certainly holding that trend we've seen, which if you want to take it on a micro basis, really since the middle uh, middle of July, but if you want to go a little further back, yields been trending lower since March of FOMC when they've really started trending at the beginning of the year. So it's been a year long trend of lower yields with very few upticks uh, that aren't met with immediate buying. So I think right now, that it's in order to see a breakout, the key level we need to get back above for a sustainable period is 225. That, that still seems pretty low. And the level that we've been having difficulty getting getting to and through is that 240 level. So right now we're looking uh, at, at kind of a bullish trending lower yields below two and a quarter. Between two and a quarter and 240 is going to kind of be our no man's land. And if yields can get back to 240, uh, and above. That's going to really be a signal that, that, that things are making a shift. So I think right now we're still in that bullish trend in treasuries, lower yields on the way. What is that telling us out of volatility? Well, volatility has been, you know, getting crushed all year long. We talk about the move index making new lows. We talk about uh, the lack of fear, lack of, of anything, really excitement when it comes to volatility in the bond market. Obviously, I just discussed that we've been trending the same direction all year. That's one reason. Uh, but even key events haven't been able to raise eyebrows for the, from the bond market. But this week, while we, volatility is near the year-to-date lows, uh, we are seeing a modest uptick, and that is to do with the Jackson Hole uh, symposium uh, coming out uh, out west and started today and we had some fed speakers before the symposium speaking on television we had we'll have the key keynote speakers tomorrow being yelling and drag and draggy out of out of europe and those will be the what the market is really focused on but i think there's a little uncertainty as will they be hawkish or will they be dovish or will they be more hawkish or will they be more dovish I think there's a lot of uh, variables uh, in that equation that could happen. And I think volatility is just telling you, we're not really real sure what she's going to say or what he's going to say, and the market's kind of waiting. And so if we look at what Jackson Hole brings us, it's going to be about policy at some level. Sure, each central banker will, will talk about his home court and will talk about possibly what they can do differently or, or how they can remove stimulus. I think that's kind of been the theme of the year is how to remove stimulus, not we're going to remove stimulus. And if you look here in the States, the Fed fund futures are looking at roughly 2% odds that we raise rates in September and about 35% that we raise in December. And those are both very low, much lower than they were just a few months ago. And I think that Ms. Yellen has an opportunity tomorrow to not only speak to whether the Fed is actually going to be focusing on rates or are they going to be focusing more on the balance sheet uh, for the rest of the year? And secondly, uh, what is their what is their intention here with inflation running below target, with growth sort of treading water uh, and, and with issues with wages and with potential issues with with some other economic statistics? How is the Fed going to be ready if things turn south and they need to to uh, to ease policy again because right now lowering the rate doesn't seem to be the answer. So I think right now Ms. Yellen has her hands full. I think the market's anticipating she'll be a little more dovish, although it wouldn't be out of left field to see her maybe come out a little hawkish and see how the market reacts. But right now yields trending lower, volatility upticking, and it's all about Janet Yellen tomorrow on Friday. This has been Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.